again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we have the staircase blanket. Now it's similar to mosaic crocheting with some slight tweaking. Absolutely love how this came out. Works up pretty quickly. It's only a four round repeat. Um, a lot of you love the blankets that are a, a square that work from the center out. So it's sort of like a solid granny square, but we are alternating back and forth between two different colors. Now to avoid having to cut your yarn and deal with that nonsense, you carry up the second color as you move along. So aside from the carried up yarn, the pattern is reversible absolutely love its simplicity. Now, for this particular project, I used, yep, my go-to Pound of Love by Lion Brand. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. I just like to let you know what it is that I use in case if you want to duplicate the results. So as far as the specs, it is approximately 1,020 yards of a medium weight of four. Now, the colors that I used here are the pink and the thistle. It is actually purple, um, believe it or not. In this lighting, well, who knows? But yes, it is a, a lovely mid-tone purple and a light pink that I used. And I had some left over as well because I didn't want to go too terribly far with this blanket. The finished dimensions of the blank that I made are about... 40 inches square. I could have kept going, but I wanted it to be a nice baby blanket. Mm. And also, I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. It's a size I crochet hook. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, round one. Now, as far as your colors go, you are going to want them to contrast. Um, so I'm going to be using the exact same colors for the tutorial as I did for my original blanket. Um, what I think actually would look rather cool is if perhaps you used maybe black and a variegated, uh, more of a like an ombre or a long range variegated as opposed to a short range. Um, just throwing out some ideas. So we're going to start off with a slip knot, just as long as your colors are different than each other, a good contrast. So after your slip knot, chain up four and slip stitch into the first chain to create a ring. Chain up three for our first double crochet, and then double crochet into the ring that we just created. Now, unlike the traditional way to start a granny square, we're only doing two, not three. So two double crochets, then chain three for the corner space, two double crochets into the ring, chain three, two more double crochets into the ring, chain three, two double crochets into the ring, chain three, and then slip stitch to the top of our first chain three, our first double crochet. So slip stitch, and then slip stitch into the next double crochet. 
and that is the end of round one. Now do not slip stitch into the corner space. That's actually where we're going to add the new contrasting color yarn. So I'll see you in round two. Okay, round two. Now, if, if you really, really don't like the idea of carrying up the yarn and you want to cut your yarn after every round, you may go right ahead. However, I'm trying to save you some, some grief here. So what I do is I'm going to take the working yarn and just sort of scoot it off to the side there, okay? And then grabbing our new color of yarn, the pink, going to go into that chain space, insert the hook, grab the new color of yarn, and pull it up and through. Just have to get all of the plies there. There we go. And of course we can work in our ends later. So from here, chain up three, that's going to be, again, our first double crochet. Double crochet into the chain space. Okay, so we've got our two doubles. Just pull that a little bit. There we go. Chain three. And then two more doubles into the same space. Okay, now going across, we're going to chain two and then work the next corner. So chain two and then into the corner, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. And the corners are always worked the same regardless of which color you're working with. So two doubles, chain three, and two doubles, chain two in the corner, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, Now, you're probably wondering, wait a minute, it's a solid granny. Why are we creating those chain two spaces? Well, we are going to be filling in those gaps on the next round. You will see, not to worry. So after we do our corner, chain two, and into the corner, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. There we go. And then to create the bridge once again, chain two, slip stitch into the top third chain of that first double. Slip stitch into the next double. And that is the end of round two. Now, yes, you can sort of fiddle with that and finagle it a little bit, make it look a little bit neater. But this is something that I was not able to avoid, that sort of crossing over of the colors. If you have another means of doing it, by all means, go for it. <laughs> all right, so onwards to round three. Okay, round three. Now that we have our two colors established, going to take the pink and scoot it off to off to the right here. And I've got my purple. We're going to be working with this one now. And you you'll get used to, you know, shifting your yarn. It's part of what we're going to be doing this project. Okay, so picking up our last stitch here. And again, having the working color go off to the right. 
and grab our our purple. Now, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking up the, the purple here. So going into the chain space, insert the hook, grabbing the purple, and pull that up and through that loop of that last stitch, and then just pull pull the, the old yarn just a little bit, and then chain up three for the first double, add another double, okay, chain three, two doubles, it's always the same in the corners. So we got our two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Now, because, like I said, this is a solid granny, in the next two stitches, double crochet into each, as you would normally. Okay, so here comes the fun part. We're going to create sort of a elongated double crochet, you know, sort of one down here and then one up top. It's a little bit weird, but with practice, you will get used to it. So start with a yarn over and then go underneath the chain space, yarn over again, and then we're going to go into that first of these two double crochets. So there are several different ways that you could go about it. One of which is to go based on the back side here and go through the stitch like so, that first stitch, and then pull up a loop and then pull through the first two loops then pull through that loop and underneath that bar that chain space and then pull through two and then pull through two so it creates sort of two double crochets on top of each other and it also hides the the chain space let me show you the back that's how it becomes sort of double-sided. And yes, I'm going to be doing this a lot, so not to worry. And I would strongly suggest watch me do it first a couple of times, then try to do it. Because if you try to do it as I'm showing you the first time around, you're going to get frustrated. So watch first and learn. Um, so yarn over, going underneath the chain space bar. yarn over. So at this point you have essentially four loops on your hook including the bar. And another way that you can go about doing this is hold on to your yarn here and then sort of scooting on down. So this, this way the piece is facing the right side the whole time. So I still have my four loops then go into that stitch. And then pull through two. Made this a little bit too tight for me. Let me try that again. Bear with me. So yarn over, underneath, yarn over. And through the stitch, through two, and then through and underneath that bar, through two, and through two. And there you go. 
So then the next two stitches, stitch as normal. And then we've reached the corner, so two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Okay, pull out a little bit more yarn. Okay, double crochet into the next two stitches as normal. Okay, and we have to do the elongated stitches here. So yarn over, underneath the chain space, yarn over. And into that first stitch. And I keep messing it up now that I'm filming. I was doing fine when I wasn't on camera. <laughs> you know, really? Okay, so down, catch that stitch. Through the first two. And then through the next and underneath that bar. Through the next two and the next two. Yarn over, underneath, yarning over, into that stitch, through two, through the two and underneath the bar, through two and through two. And of course you can shift these around if needs be. Uh, because they're not actually into the chain, they're around the chain, if you will. So stitch the next two stitches normally. And at the corner, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Okay, so we've got half half done, so let's do the other half. Okay, so continuing right along, double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Okay, and then two elongated stitches, so yarn over underneath yarning over. You could call that a yarn over twice, but I'm just calling it a yarn over. So after doing that, going into the first of the two stitches, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull underneath, pull through two, pull through two. There we go. Yarn over, underneath, yarn over, going into that next stitch. Pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through two and that bar, pull through two, pull through two. Double crochet into the next two stitches and then the corner. Okay, and then so it's two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Okay, one more side to go. So double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, two elongated stitches, so yarn over, underneath, yarn over. Now because we slip stitched into these two stitches previously, it can be a little bit fiddly, but 
with persistence, you can do it. I know I can because I've done it before. So let's let's show these stitches who's boss, right? All right, you know what? I think I'm going to attack it from perhaps the other side, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. All right, so scoot into there. Sort of show it who's boss. There we go. Pull up that loop. Pull through two. Pull through underneath that bar. Pull through two and pull through two. Okay. Yarn over, underneath, yarn over. And then again, scooting on down into that next stitch. There we go. Pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two and that bar, pull through two and pull through two. Okay, and then double crochet into these two stitches. There we go. And then finishing up round three, just slip stitch into the top of the first chain three that we did, that first double crochet. slip stitch and then slip stitch into the last double crochet. Ta -da! Alrighty. So yes, your piece should look something like this at this point. Alrighty. Okay, round four. All right, so already have my purple yarn going off to the right. And I've got my pink yarn at the left. All right, so inserting into the chain space, grab the pink, pull up and through that last loop, give it a tug and we are good to go. All right, so starting off with a chaining up of three and another double crochet, chain three, two more double crochets, okay, scoot that off to the side a little bit more, thank you, okay, so start off by chaining two, skip the next two double crochets, and then into the next six stitches, double crochet. So we've got one, two, three, four, five and six, chain two, skip those last two doubles into the chain corner space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. chain two, skip the next two stitches, six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and six, chain two, 
skip the last two into the corner, same thing. Two doubles, chain three, two doubles. This is kind of an easy round by comparison, but don't worry, we'll be doing the hard stuff on the next round because we have these chain spaces where we need to do elongated stitches again. So don't worry, we'll get there. So just finishing up my corner here. I mean, like I said, it's really not that bad once you get the hang of it, but it takes a bit to get the hang of it. So I got my two doubles, chain three, two doubles, chain two, skip two stitches going into the next six stitches with doubles that's two three four five and six chain two skip the last two in the corner, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Chain two, pull out some more yarn. Okay, skip those first two stitches, going into the next six. One, two, three, four, five, and Six, chain two, skip those last two doubles and slip stitch into the top of that first chain three that we did. There we go. And then into that next stitch. And there we go. That is round four. Okay. Okay, round five. So, got my pink yarn off to the right. Got my purple yarn. Going to go into the chain space, grab the purple yarn, carry it up, pull that loop through and through that last pink loop, make it taut and chain up three. Double crochet in the same space. Chain three. Two more doubles in that corner for our completed corner. Okie dokie, now. Double crochet into the next two stitches. And now we need two elongated stitches. So yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over, going into the first of the two stitches. Pull through two, pull through those two and underneath the bar, pull through the next two and the next. Yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over, going into that second stitch, pull through, pull through two, pull through the two and underneath the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so we have six stitches here. Generally, you don't go beyond six stitches with one exception later on. So from here, 
chain two, skip two stitches, then two double crochets, chain two, skip two stitches, and then two elongated stitches. So yarn over, go underneath the bar, yarn over, go into that first stitch, pull through two, pull through the two and underneath the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, underneath the bar, yarn over, into that second stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through the two and underneath the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, double crochet into the next two stitches. And then the corner. So that's two doubles. Chain three and two doubles. There we go. So we have one side done. So you've got your six and then two and then six. Okay. So moving right along, foot loose and fancy free. Double crochet into the next two stitches. And then two elongated stitches, yarn over underneath, yarn over into the first stitch. Pull up the loop, pull through the two, pull through the two and underneath the bar, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over, going into that second stitch, pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through the two and underneath the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Okay. Chain two, skip two stitches, double crochet in the following two. Chain two, skip two stitches, two elongated stitches. So yarning over underneath the bar, yarn over into the first stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through the two and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, underneath the bar, yarn over, go into the second stitch, pull up a loop, Pull through two, pull through two, and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Double crochet into the next two stitches. And then into the corner space, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Okay, all right, so let's do the next two sides together. All right, so continuing right along after the corner, double crochet into the next two stitches. And 
and then two elongated stitches. So yarn over underneath, yarn over, and into the first stitch. Pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through the two, and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up that loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through the two, and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, chain two, skip the next two pink stitches, double crochet in the next two stitches. Chain two, skip the next two pink stitches. Well, pink in my case anyway. And then two elongated stitches, yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over, go into that first stitch, pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through the two and under the bar, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over, into the second stitch. Pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through the two and the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Double in the next two stitches, one and two. And in the corner, you know what to do, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. So I got the two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. There we go. One more side to go. Double in each of the next two stitches. Then two elongated stitches, yarn over under the bar, yarn over into the first stitch, pull through two, pull through two and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over underneath, yarn over into the second stitch. Pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Chain two, skip two stitches, going into the next two with doubles. Chain two, skip the next two stitches and go and do your elongated stitches. So yarn over underneath, yarn over into the first stitch. Again, these are slip stitches, so they're a little bit tight and tricky, but we can do this. Through two, through two and under the bar, through two and through two. Yarn over underneath, yarn over into that second stitch, come on, there we go, just takes a little bit of persistence, so pull up that loop, thank you, through two, through two and under the bar, through two and through two, and then two more double crochets. Let's 
the one and the two and then slip stitch into the top of that first chain three and slip stitch into the next and that is round five all righty Okay, round six. All right, purple yarn to the right. Go into that chain space, pull up the pink, pull that loop up and through the last loop, chain up three, do another double, chain three, and two more doubles. Okay. So from here, going to chain two, skip the first two stitches, going into the next, one, two, three, and four stitches. Now, like I was saying before, we're working predominantly with increments of six stitches because we have these purple six here and these pink six here. It's what creates sort of a uniform step look. So we have four, but now we need two elongated stitches going into here. So yarn over underneath, yarn over, then going into that first stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through the two and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over underneath, yarn over, Go into that second stitch, pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through the two and go under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. So we now have our necessary six. Okay. Chain two. Skip these next two stitches and do two elongated stitches. So yarning over underneath the bar, yarn over into the first stitch, pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through two and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over underneath the loop, yarn over, go into the second stitch, pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two, and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. And we need four more stitches for our six. So next four stitches, one, two, three and four, chain two, skip those last two stitches and into the corner, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. One, two, three, and two more doubles. One and Two. Okay. Get some more yarn going on here. Okay. Chain two. Skip those first two doubles going into the next four stitches with doubles.
There we go. Two elongated stitches, yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over, going into that first stitch, pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two, and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over under the bar, yarn over into the second stitch. And through two, through two under the bar, through two, through two. So we have our six, chain two, skip these two, two elongated stitches here. So yarning over under the bar, yarn over into the first stitch, pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over under the bar, yarn over, second stitch, pull up that loop, through two, through two, and under the bar, through two, through two, four more stitches for the six, one, two, three, and four, chain two, skip the last two doubles and into the corner with two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Okay, so we have two sides done. Let's do the next two sides. All right, so continuing right along, going to chain two, skip those first two stitches, double into the next four, one, two, three and four, two elongated stitches. So yarn over underneath, yarn over into the first. There we go. Pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over underneath, yarn over, into that second stitch, pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two in the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, chain two, skip these next two stitches, go into the elongated, so yarn over underneath, yarn over, first stitch, pull up that loop, pull through two, Pull through two and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over underneath, yarn over, second stitch, pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through two and under the bar, pull through two and pull through two. Double crochet into the next four stitches so that we have our total of six. So that's a total of three, four, five, and six, chain two, skip the next two stitches into the corner, two doubles, chain three, two doubles. There we go, 
chain two. Skip those first two, double crochet into the next four. So that's one, two, three, and four. Untangle your yarn as needs be. There we go. Okay, so I got the four. Now I need two elongated. So yarn over, underneath, yarn over, into the first stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and under the bar, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, underneath, yarn over, into the second stitch, pull up the loop, pull through two, pull through two in the bar, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, chain two, skip those two below, then two elongated stitches. So yarn over underneath the bar, yarn over into the first stitch, Pull up that loop, pull through two, pull through two and the bar, pull through two and pull through two. Yarn over, underneath, yarn over, second stitch. Pull up the loop, pull through two, through two and under the bar, through two and through two. Double crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. There we go. So we got our total of six. Chain two and slip stitch to the first double that we did. and slip stitch into the last double. Shaboom. All right. It's starting to come together. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. All right, my dears. So that is going to conclude the first part of this tutorial. I really want to be thorough, so that's why I'm taking my time. Um, and I do, of course, want to give you a full repeat of the pattern. We're not quite there yet, but we are getting there now. So yeah, your piece should look something like this at the moment. And as far as the back, we have our sort of yarn floats, the, the carries up there. And again, like I said before, if you're not a fan of this, you can, of course, cut your yarn and so in your ends but i wanted to save you that grief um so that's why i'm doing this particular method to each their own i do not judge but listen as always i hope that you're enjoying this tutorial so far and uh, if you are please give a little thumbs up button down below you know that i appreciate your appreciation and do stay tuned for the second part of this tutorial. I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you are too. Hmm. So you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now and have a great day.